All right, I'm here with the scientist, the PhD, biomedical engineer. And we were in a mastermind last night together. And I don't even know how we got on the subject of dry fasting. But you had an epiphany. I think I might have. Yeah. I, I, I thought I was insane, so I asked you if I was a sanity, quick sanity check. Right, so you, you, I, I brought up dry fasting and the fact that we've had amazing clinical breakthroughs with people who have trouble losing weight, you know, elevated glucose, metabolic problems in general, and then you kind of brought in the uh, the, the science well, around it, there's the, a, the biology. At a least. Very simple, yeah. and it's that sort of simple chemistry would tell you. You know, water is is not sort of just necessary for fat metabolism, but water is a is a byproduct of breaking fats down, yeah. and then mobilizing them. You know, and right, and and so it's called metabolic water. And there are animals that survive and long transoceanic migration by living off the water stored in their fat. So yeah. it seems to make sense to us, I guess it's fair to say, that part of a really good aspect of fasting would be to dry fast because clearly that would send a signal to to take water from your reserves which yeah. include your fat. Mm -hmm. And this makes sense from the chemistry standpoint, we were talking about this too, product inhibition. Mm -hmm. So if you have excess water, your body would attempt to, to store that as fat, but if you don't have enough water, there's 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 no product inhibition there. In fact, there's a need to generate it. Right, and, and it was funny because I said, you know, when I fast, I'm never thirsty. I enough. noticed the same thing. The yeah. more I fast, the less thirsty I get. Yeah. It's because you're being quenched by your by fat metabolizing. Yeah, effect. because the, the more the more you fast, the more you get used to breaking fat down right. for energy, and therefore you're releasing water. And doesn't it make perfect sense that if you live on the savanna, say, 150,000, 150, you know, thousand years ago mm -hmm. or more, and you and you have to long, walk long distances without food, that you'd be able to do so without water, and you are carrying yeah. water reserves in your fat. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about it. I, I can tell you, you know, and I've educated most of this group that you get three to one autophagy with dry fasting, mm -hmm. and the reason is because your body needs water. So it starts so scavenging. It starts scavenging, where's it yeah, getting? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's getting crushing fat crushing, cells. It's yeah. crushing, killing the fat cells, eating mm -hmm. all the solid content, all the stuff that's fat soluble, right. and then taking the breaking of the fat up and taking the water as well. Right. Yeah, my, my last fast, I did, uh, we did, my, my wife and I did two days of dry, and then we went into partial fasting, and I could tell you, it was, it was a breeze, but I had said this, I went from, you know, maybe 2.0 ketones that morning mm -hmm. to almost seven that evening. Meaning, yep. fat metabolism just went through the roof. I did the same thing. I was, I was telling you, I was ketone monitoring with, and you know, the little Bluetooth one, and it gives you a really nice number. And I went, I, I decided that I, I had been uh, not dry fasting, and it was taking me a long time mm -hmm. to kind of achieve you know ketosis and then I dr started dry fasting oh. and it was I'd say twice as fast yeah it cut yeah. hours off the well look I you know I, I avoid the topic sometimes because there's not a lot of science that I can quote I mean we, we found uh, Robert Dennis the scientist and right what here. do I know yeah Nothing. I'm just speculating <laughs> but you know biochemistry really well uh, uh, you know, well, yeah. well from the old opinions days. vary yeah <laughs> he actually right. did work for NASA okay I did so the guy's consultant. really dang smart he's being very humble opinions here. vary ask my <laughs> yeah. wife uh, so well you know the, you know the PEMF technology and devices yeah, I mean, this guy, he knows it. Matter of fact, I don't know the episode. I'll have to find out, have my team find it. But episode on Cell TV, I interviewed you about yes, you PMF. Did. Yeah, yes, you did. Exactly. So, yeah. wealth of knowledge. He added a lot to the conversation. Who would have thought you would add it to the fasting conversation? Oh, I would never have thought so. And then you started talking about it. I was thinking, you know, I was, I was sort of halfway between asking, you know, now he's going to think I'm crazy. Now people think that's stupid. But I think that going without food, fasting, mm -hmm. and then going without water, that would amplify and trigger the, the mechanism that you're trying to get yeah, started that, anyway. No doubt. You know what is interesting? Because we had a, a couple, we have two vets, I believe, in our mm -hmm. group, right? Veterinarians, and they made a great point that well, animals they don't just fast, yeah, they dry fast. fast. It's yeah, like they, they go without food and water. I'm like, oh yeah, that's I didn't even think of that one. Fat yeah, stores energy, yep. fat soluble, yep. you know, molecules and water. Awesome. Thanks. So it's synergistic. Thanks for bringing the science, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, found the scientist. Yeah.